Yeah, you know who I personally don't like? Speaking of regimes. You're Rex Ryan. He I was, on, he oh was my on my God. list, but we said players. You went off script on me. But I yeah, know, he was on my list. I really did not like that hiring. Like, I really, really, really hated that hiring. I'm, I was ecstatic, you know, the Bills were staying in Buffalo, the Bagulas bought them, and there was, there were, you know, it, it was a big time. One Buffalo came a thing, like, hey, the Sabres and the Bills are now under the same ownership. The one Buffalo video got released, everything is going to be great. Chris Berman is like the spokesman for one Buffalo, and then we hired Rex Ryan, and I thought to myself, like, this is bad. And I'll never forget my friend who lives in Virginia. He was like, oh, I love this hiring. I'm like, yeah, we'll, we'll definitely get some eyeballs. We'll get impressions. <laughs> the Bills will definitely get impressions, but it's not the good kind. You know, it's it's just going to be... he He's a clown. Like, you remember when he fired Greg Roman, Roman to save his own hide about three weeks into the season? After he fired... Or after he hired his brother... To yeah. run the defense with him. Yeah, that didn't work. Which wasn't good. Newsflash, it didn't work out. Yeah. And, and Greg Romans went on to have a good career. Yeah, and how? Like, think about that team that we had defensively, too. We had a top, well, with... Um, oh Jim God. Schwartz. Jim Schwartz. Didn't we have a top three defense? Uh, top three uh, or top four, three, something. Top three, top five, something like that. It was good. And then he imploded it. He imploded it. Like, I, and on top of that, he, he just didn't run the team very well. There, I just personally don't think there was a lot of respect for him. He was just trying to be buddy-buddy with everyone at the ping-pong pool table inside of the locker room, all that other stuff. And he getting his tattoo recolored to be a Bills guy and riding the uh, tandem bicycle with his brother through uh, through the uh, through the park in Buffalo. It, it was all just dumb. It was all just my... shtick. Sh- I'm just like, I, you, you're hyping us up, but you're doing nothing, actually. Why don't, instead of changing the tattoo color, when changing your uh, ta- uh, color of your tattoo, why don't you hit the playbooks, damn it. Like... <laughs> That's all I was thinking about. I I really don't like Rex Ryan. I, I I'm done with my rant. So I got a couple things on Rex Ryan. First of all, I uh, I have the embarrassing admission that I was excited for Rex Ryan oh my when they hired him, and you know you, you had this these new owners and they had this defensive minded genius and all that blah blah blah. And it fell off for me real quickly. And I think where he lost me was like when he wrapped his truck with oh, the, yeah. the full Bills wrap. And I was like, wait a minute. None of the other coaches are doing this. This isn't necessary. And, uh. Sorry about that. Sorry, you lost me for a second. Oh, so, good. like, he did all that, and it, it was all this sideshow stuff and i was like why are we why are we talking so much about rex like let's talk about football Mm -hmm. so like since then he's become he's become my my answer to you know whenever people tell me about like oh well i never see the bills on espn and the national media is not talking about us i'm like the last time we did that experiment was rex ryan Mm-hmm. ESPN couldn't stop talking about us when Rex Ryan was out there with his press conferences and all that. I, I could do I could do a full hour on the hatred that I grew for Rex Ryan. I have to have the embarrassing admission that I was fully on board with him at one point. But I'll give a free plug here. Joe Marino did a fantastic show. He did a full roundtable discussion. Um, he brought in a couple other guys, uh, Greg Thompson. Uh, the other guys are slipping my mind right now. But they they went through like their full life cycle of Rex Ryan as a coach. If you haven't heard it, anybody listening, if you haven't heard it, check it out. It's fantastic. 
because there's so many guys that know so much about football that loved Rex Ryan and then realized what happened, and it was bad. <laughs>